you know, I would never limit you to just five boots, right? Like I would never limit you to just five boots. I'm not that much of a bully. Like I, I feel like these are just kind of the foundation and where you go from there is up to you. So today I'm going to share five boot styles that every woman over 50 and truly at any age could use in her wardrobe and why they're important, why they are outfit makers, why they are foundational to great fall and winter outfits. So my fall winter 24, 25 boot guide coming up. So if you're new here, my name is Netta. I'm a personal stylist. My whole goal here is to help you build a wardrobe that you love because I want you to have a better day. And I think that style can play a part in that. I know it sounds simplistic, but truly when we look better, we feel better. And so I think boots, boots are like a foundation to many of our fall winter outfits so we want to get this part right um so if you're speaking of boots i do have a boot camp going on right now and it's my reverse closet edit boot camp now if you've really been wanting to go through your wardrobe and get some expert eyes on some of the things that you're considering purging or some of the things you're considering bringing in i would definitely recommend checking out the boot camp you can go to netamanly.com bootcamp it's not too late to hop in and get some additional support on your closet edit and and really kind of get that fresh closet it going into the holiday season so let's get into boots okay we're gonna start with the first pair of boots first of all I want to make a disclaimer I'm always talking about almond toe and pointy toe shoes and how they're leg lengthening and they're more flattering and all of the things and then sometimes I'll get a question like well, the sneaker has a round toe. Should I wear the sneaker with a round toe? Some styles are always going to have a round toe. So for the most part, moto boots, Chelsea boots, um, definitely sneakers, uh, moto boots, Chelsea boots, and riding boots are almost always gonna have a round toe and occasionally a squared off toe. So just know that some styles, some boot styles come with very specific toe shapes and that's just the characteristic of that toe i mean of that boot so um some boots are always gonna have round toes and that's totally okay um okay let's get into the first category of boot and what i think is going to be the most versatile and the most foundational in your wardrobe often women ask me what am i missing in my wardrobe that's why i like to create these checklists for you so you can look at your own boot collection if you've got a collection and i hope you do and kind of and ask yourself like what might be missing that could really help me create the outfits that I want to create this season. So the first pair are um, classic ankle boots. Now, I use the word classic loosely because these are going to last you a good, you know, five-ish years, maybe more, um, and depending on how you care for them because, you know, obviously styles are going to evolve and change, but these are really, really beautiful, modern, classic ankle boots. Now, I think ankle boots are the most versatile style to have in your wardrobe. You can wear them with pants, you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with skirts and dresses, you can wear them with pretty much everything. If you have to invest in one pair of shoes, and I, it's so hard for me to narrow it down, but if you have to invest in and only one pair of shoes for fall winter make it a pair of ankle boots they are the most versatile shoe and chosen properly they're also the most comfortable shoe you know I'm always gonna go back to picking a pair of ankle boots that's close to the color of your hair if you want them to be the most neutral so let me give you a couple things to think about when choosing ankle boots this season the first is ankle boots this season look dressier which is a good thing because it means that they're gonna work better over the holidays they're gonna work better with dresses they'll work better you know for work they'll look better for church um, so we're seeing um, dressier boots in general they're sleeker um, many of them have an elongated toe a little bit of a pointy toe or an almond toe we are still seeing a squared off toe um, but they're just sleeker in general they're not rugged or rustic looking the leather is not distressed it's smooth and sleek so you're also seeing now um, ankle boots come in a variety of heel heights, but the, the heels have changed. So we're seeing obviously flat ankle boots as well as heeled ankle boots, but the heels are sculptural heels or they're kitten heels. So they're thinner heels. We're not seeing as many block heeled booties as we have seen in, in, in the last few years. We're really seeing a sculpted heel or a kitten heel this season. Does that mean you need to throw out your block? Black heeled booties, absolutely not. But if you're gonna buy a new pair, this is the update. Um, we're also seeing a higher shaft. We've seen this for the last couple of years. Ankle boots now come up higher on the ankle. They do not have cutouts on the sides. They are just sleek and simple and polished and again, kitten heel, sculptural heel, heel, or completely flat heel, but they are gonna really give you that versatility that's gonna allow them to go with everything. So if you're looking for an investment pair, again, you wanna choose the best quality you can afford in a color that's close to your hair color. So let me give you some of my picks for the, the best 
ankle boots of the season. The first are the Veronica Beard cap toe boots. These are stunning. These are stunning. They're flat, but they've got that cap toe detail. They're elevated. They're elegant. They're really comfortable. These are just a beautiful pair that kind of make a little bit of a statement without really being over the top. Um, I also really like these Mark Fisher embossed leather kitten zip booties. This is a python print. It's got a lower heel, like a lower kitten heel. These are really, really nice and they're under $200. So a great, great um, kind of statement booty um, and a great shape, great heel height. Um, I'm also really loving these kind of wide variety of colors from Everlane, but this is the short banana boot, they're calling it. Lots of colors, very versatile. This is a really relatively timeless boot. There's not a lot going on. It's just a great, great style and a very comfortable boot. I love shoots and you're gonna see them come up again and again on um, this uh, in this video, but shoots has these Mickey booties this butterscotch leather these look way more expensive than they are um they're under 200 dollars, and they're just a beautiful pair of um of, of ankle booties and I, I really love the heel on these these are just absolutely beautiful so you know a variety of heel heights pick the heel height that works for you but if you're going to go with a heel make it sleeker and and either sculpted or um or a kitten heel style this season Okay, um, a couple more tips about ankle boots. They really should fit you pretty snugly around your ankle, not tight, but um, a slight gap is okay, but you don't want them, this style, you don't want to be super wide around your ankle. So if they gape too much, you want to, to keep looking. It can, it's not the, going to be the most flattering look. Um, you wanna look for high quality leather whenever possible. Unless you have a moral objection to leather, look for high quality leather. Um, and you want uh, sturdy stitching. You really wanna look at that stitching and a nice solid sole. Um, and, you know, like I was saying, an ankle boot is really going to be that style. It's going to go with everything, jeans, trousers, skirts, dresses. Um, I really like pairing them where you can kind of see the, the top of the boot right now. Like, it, you know, obviously as it gets colder, you're going to wear longer pants or longer skirts. But I really like seeing the top of the boots with a higher shaft boot. I think it's a really cool look this season. Okay. Now let's move on to knee-high boots. Now knee-high boots, this is a broad category. It includes riding boots, but it also includes like knee-high dressier boots with heels. So what to look for in a knee-high boot in 2024? And in general, a knee-high boot really needs to fit you pretty well around the calf. I do have wide calf options available in the catalog that I'm going to link below this video because I have a full fall boot guide catalog for you, but um, you know, including some, um, wide, like I said, wide calf options. So you really wanna know the measurement of your calf before you look for a wide, um, uh, knee high boot because the fit is gonna be really important. So you want them, you want there to be a little bit of room, but you don't want there to be a ton of room. I have a pair of Hunter like Welly, Welly boots and those are designed to be really, really wide and chunky and they kind of look like like firefighter boots right but these are not the, these are not supposed to look like that they're supposed to be sleek but they're not supposed to hug your calf so it's just kind of that middle ground um the most modern knee-high boot is straight up and down in the boot shaft in other words it does not go in at the ankle so i'm going to hold it pop up the Cezanne boot as an example if you look at the Cezanne boot it's a straight line up and down does not narrow at the ankle that's the most modern um, knee-high boot silhouette um, again you're going to look for either a sculpted heel a kitten heel uh, like a high stiletto heel if that's what you're going to go for or a flat boot and avoid a chunky block heel if you're buying a new boot for fall 2024 again you can continue to wear the ones that you have i will be doing that but if you're going to buy a new boot look for a sleeker skinnier heel or a flat style um now how high should they come up they should come up ideally about two inches below the middle of your knee so you want them to come two inches below the middle of your knee now if your your knee-high boots fit you well. You should be able to wear them under a lot of the pant silhouettes we're seeing this season, like um, some straight leg styles, but definitely wider leg styles, baggy jeans and baggier pants, trousers, um, any pants that are not, you know, pants have not been fitted at the calf for a long time now. So you should be able to wear 
these knee high boots underneath most of your pants now if you've got skinny like leggings or skinny jeans that you want to update of course you can wear um, the, the boots above the jeans or you know on the outside of the jeans or the pants but ideally you want them to go underneath a pair of, of wide leg pants or jeans um, you can of course wear them with dresses I love knee high boots with dresses midi dresses mini dresses maxi dresses like any dress knee high boots are you know really close in versatility to an ankle boot and i just love them they also have the added benefit of keeping your legs a little bit warm so um you can look for a stretch panel if your calf is a little hard to fit and of course know know the dimensions of your calf um you want it to feel really substantial and you want to make sure that zipper if there's a zipper on it goes up and down really really easily um, and, and I love pairing these with sweater dresses. I think they're so cool with sweater dresses. I think they're really, really cool with a flowy dress or a flowy skirt for fall, winter. Um, and if you pair, of course, as always, if you do a monochromatic, you know, hem to, to boot, it's going to be a leg lengthening look. So brown dress, brown boot, black dress, black boot. It's just a great classic look. Okay, let me share some of my favorites. So the first one is from Madewell. This is the Dimes collection, which I've been loving. Look at the heel on this. This is such a cool heel. Kitten heel knee boot from Madewell. I love, love, love these boots. Um, okay, going a little bit higher up, the Vince calfskin kitten heel knee boots. Um, so this is a kitten heel, but it's not super thin, so it's a little bit more walkable. I think these are absolutely beautiful and elegant and, and truly like a, just a, a great kind of investment boot. Not crazy expensive, but you know, still an expensive boot. Now, if you wanna go a little bit less expensive, these um, riding boots from Bernardo, these are beautiful. These have a rounder toe, classic styling, and these are flat boots. So that classic riding boot is absolutely in style right now. What you want is to keep the boots as simple as possible. You want minimal detail on your riding boots because details date, right? So you're gonna you're going to have a nice, flat, sturdy sole. You're gonna have a round toe. They're gonna be really, really comfortable. They're gonna be in your wardrobe forever if you choose them properly. And I really like these from Bernardo. Um, now, if you want a pair of flat boots that are are not a writing style which can actually kind of be hard to find I love these from by far um, these are kind of fancy but like this really really soft soft leather um, they're flat they're they're just a really cool kind of modern minimalist style from by far um, and then finally um, I told you I'm gonna mention shoots a lot but I love these Mariana sculpt boots from shoots look how cool the heel is on these these are absolutely beautiful so these are another great option for a knee-high boot and these are under $200 I'm going to have have boots under 100, under 200, under 300, under 1,000. I'm going to have all the different price ranges for boots in the catalog. Okay, let's move on to the next category of boots. And this is going to be like the, the, the ankle boot that's a combat boot or a Chelsea boot or a moto boot. Now, moto boots, combat boots, Chelsea boots, these are all going to be round toe boots. So for those of you who cannot do an elongated toe and really want like a fun, modern, cool look, these are for you. And the great thing about these, like this is like a Doc Martin kind of style boot is one example of this. The great thing about these is they really don't date quickly at all. So generally you're, you're looking for a thicker sole and it, they're going to be flat most of the time round or square toe often round and often they have interesting details so what are you going to look for for chelsea or moto or um or you know any of these style boots you're going to look for a nice substantial sole often a lug sole but not always know that a lug sole is going to make the shoes inherently more casual and not necessarily as versatile but again this is a more casual boot silhouette so that might be totally okay with you um consider styling these with um like items and, and, and clothes that have a little bit of volume at the bottom so that you're really balancing out the chunkiness of, of the boot. But these are designed to kind of be chunky. Now you want them, you want a little bit of room at your ankle, but not a ton. Otherwise it can just look like they don't fit you very well. So that's kind of some, some stuff to look for when you're looking for combat, moto, or Chelsea boots. Now let me share some of my favorites. This first pair is a pair that I have and I love these. These are the uh, the Ryan boots from Vivaya. I do have a code. I'm going to pop it up here, 12 Netta. These are incredible, um, incredible, comfortable, like ridiculously cool boots. I'm going to show you a little clip of me walking in 
the like basically the river that had come and flooded our backyard during Hurricane Milton and walking in the river with these boots. They are so, so, so comfortable. I actually did all of my yard work in them. They rinse clean and they're completely waterproof. Like you can completely submerge them. They're wide foot friendly. They're bunion friendly. They've got lots of support. These are boots that have been super, super popular and super hot um, in my community. So I would definitely recommend checking these out as a really versatile, really comfortable Chelsea boot if you're going on a vacation. Um, if you really need a good walking boot, these are my pick for that category. So love these. Um, again, my code is 12 Netta. They also have a lug sole boot that's new that I love. It's called the Flora Boots. Um, I think they're really, really cool. They come in a variety of colors and you know it's gonna hug your leg well. They're going to be waterproof. They've got that nice chunky lug sole um, for support and for traction. So I really, really like those from Vivaya. Another option I really like are these Moto boots from Bernardo. I think these are fabulous. Um, they're comfortable. They're, um, they're kind of a classic Moto boot style, and I think they're going to be a really versatile option. I also like these brown suede moto boots from J. Crew. I like that these come up a little higher on the leg. They're kind of a cross between, I don't know, like a, like a, they've got a little bit of a Western inspired flair to them. Um, I like their hardware. I like the chunky sole on them, almost like a thin platform on them. I think that's really cool. Um, and I like that they have a little bit of a higher shaft, like I said. So I think those are really, really cool from J. Crew. Now, under $100, if you're looking for a great pair, um, these Quince suede Chelsea boots, um, I, love these. I think these are such a great buy. They're $99. They come in a lot of great colors and they have fabulous, fabulous reviews. So really great Chelsea boot from Quince. Um, and then the final ones I really like, uh, kind of more expensive, are from Stahl. These are their Palomino Chelsea boots. These are so, so beautiful, so cool, so minimalist, so modern. Just absolutely love these from Stahl. So another great pair of, of Chelsea boots. So uh, Chelsea boots, I would say probably out of all of these are going to be the most versatile. They're great with pants and just regular outfits, whereas moto boots and um, kind of combat boots, those styles are really going to be a little bit funkier. And um, so it depends on your personal style. Chelsea boots are a little bit more classic. Um, so you wanna, again, make sure that there's enough room in the toe box for comfort. Um, lug, stole, lug sole styles run to, tend to run slightly roomy. So you wanna make sure that they fit you well. Um, you also want to make sure that they have a good grip and high quality leather uh, and, 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 you know, really look for the quality of your boots because boots get a lot of wear and tear, um, especially if you live in a cold climate. So you really want to just kind of, you know, look at the quality of them and make sure that they're well made. All of these are really well made and I, I stand behind these recommendations. Um, I also try, like I said, pairing them with flowy skirts, flowy dresses. Adding something feminine with a Chelsea boot or a moto boot or a leg sole boot can be a really, really cool and kind of like a good juxtaposition. And that's really something that's happening a lot in style right now. So I love them. Okay, finally, I'm going to talk about statement boots. So this is the fourth style. And I really think this is an, an opportunity to bring your personal style into your boot wardrobe. So we've checked the basic boxes. We have the knee high boot, we have the Chelsea boot, and we have the ankle boot. The fourth style really is a boot that really allows you to inject some personality. Maybe that personality and, and that statement emphasis or the statement piece of it happens through color. Maybe it's it's hot pink or red or, or silver or gold. Maybe it's a statement because of the silhouette, like maybe it's extra chunky or extra sleek or extra high or extra, like just some other interesting detail on it. Um, maybe it's chunky because, or, uh, sorry, a statement because of the details. Maybe it's just got a lot of fun details going on and that's what makes it a statement boot. But I'm gonna share some fabulous statement boots that I, I would recommend if you're looking. And truly, this is the thing about these. These are personnel boots and you want to pick them based on what you love and what resonates with your personal style because that's what's going to make these pieces that you're going to want to wear for a really long time. So the first pair is a pair that I have. These are the Ryan Pro Chelsea um, kind of boots with like the really cool red sculptural heel from Vivaya. These are so, so, so comfortable. I just pulled these out again now that we're kind of into fall-ish in Florida and I love them. Again, really, really comfortable, waterproof, just the perfect boot and that red heel just really makes them feel like me. Now, if you're, you've got boho style or you want something different, a little chunk, a little chunky, a little funky. I love these clog, uh, heeled boots. There are lots of brands that makes them Swedish has been makes them. Um, but these are cool. These are under $200. And I love the, the clog sole on them. That's just a cool, um, kind of statement boot. Now, 
Another type of statement boot, of course, is a Western boot. And we've seen cowboy boots and Western boots of every description, from really classic, you know, old school cowboy boots to silver, hot pink, white, like, you know, fun kind of modern takes on cowboy boots. And that's what this one is from Anthropology. I think this is just such a cool looking cowboy boot. Um, it's, it's Western inspired. It's not a Western boot, right? Obviously, those of you who are, you know, have, have traditional cowboy boots know that these are not traditional cowboy boots, but they're just a really cool modern wearable look. And if this is your personal style, this is a great statement boot. I think it's also really versatile because of the color and a really flattering silhouette. Now, of course, studded and embellished everything is really happening right now. So I really, I think these are from shoots. They're in anthropology, but these studded boots are such a cool statement boot. Like, oh my goodness, how cool are these statement boots? I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I have to say the piece de resistance for me, the one that I, I am eyeing the most are these from, I think these are from La Rue Day. I'm not, I'm not actually positive, but they're they're, they're expensive, but they're embroidered. I think these are, so, they, they look like my, like the silhouette of my Hunter rain boots, but they're embroidered like an old school, like, you know, couch pillow or whatever, like decorative pillow. I love these so, so, so much. Talk about a feminine statement boot. I think they're so fabulous, but they're also really practical. Like, I just think these check all the boxes for me. I absolutely love them. Um, if you're not into them bordered boots, that's fine. We've got other ideas. These from Shoots um, with the kind of like like fur detail on them, um, multicolored, like these are actually really, really cool. I think these are a fabulous option. I also love these gold, um, gold kind of ankle boot style. So statement boots come in every heel height, every configuration for every personal style. I will say as, you know, we want to be, we want to be careful and find boots that are modern and versatile and wearable and maybe not like uber uber over the over the top i've seen some azalea wing it's a contemporary brand my dog just hit my camera i've seen some azalea wing um boots that are uh, a little bit over the top for my taste and i just think that they're hard to wear in a way that's refined and elegant like i think you can be funky i think you can be fun i think you can have a, you know a great time with style without going that over the top like these azalea wing boots i'm not saying all of them but just some of them are just a, a little bit a little bit too much so let me know what you think in the comments of the boots that i popped up here from azalea wing but i'm gonna have lots of other options for statement boots for combat moto chelsea boots for ankle boots and for knee-high boots for you in my complete fall boot guide so let me know which of these boots are you missing from your wardrobe um, what questions do you have about boots and how to wear them and what to wear them with and um, just let's continue this conversation in the comments below I love you guys I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so we can keep hanging out I'll see you in the next video